In this video, we're going to look at Kawhi Leonard's defensive impact from Game 6. Because of how good Kawhi Leonard is offensively, we sometimes forget how good he can be defensively when he's locked in here. He's on Trey Burke in the corner. This was a nice little adjustment the Clippers made to get some active off the ball. Right here, Tim Hardaway Jr. has made this pass a ton. He should be able to complete it, but Kawhi Leonard jumps this passing lane, gets the steal. It's what he does best. As I mentioned, despite how good he is offensively, Kawhi's defense, especially intellectually, is on a high plane that most people can't even get to. Here, as we're going to see, Dallas runs a ball screen for Luka Doncic. They did this about 40, 50 times a game. As Kleba comes off to slip this, he's going to end up working against Zubats. But the Clippers decided in games 5 and 6 to start trapping and blitzing Doncic, which gets the ball out of his hands. Look where Leonard is. This is a swing swing. Leonard has to go from the left corner all the way to the right. And he does. He contests his three-point shot beautifully, forces a miss. This is picture perfect. This is what I mean about the Clippers defending it differently. Here, Zubac shows high and is forces Doncic to make the pass to the middle of the floor at the nail. Maxi Kleba cuts baseline and Kawhi Leonard is a defender, but look at Kawhi. He sees it, gets his hand in the passing lane, forces yet another steal. All right, here we go. This starts with a little double drag action for Doncic, as we see right here when it freezes. Just keep your eye on Kawhi Leonard, because as Doncic comes downhill, his job here is to tag the roller, but he knows Doncic wants to pass to the corner. And when the pass happens, he gets his hand up in the passing lane, and yet another steal. Once again, another blitz, another show by the Clippers. This forces Kawhi Leonard to have to dig down into the middle of the paint as the ball comes to Dorian Finney-Smith. As we see, Leonard knows he has to get back to the corner. He does, swings to the corner, closes out without jumping, which is a big deal. He forces Trey Burke left, and as Burke steps back into his jumper, Leonard gives a good contest and forces another miss. As we all know, great defense isn't just one guy. Here, Maxi Kleba sets a down screen. Paul George is going to roll off of it and come out to the top. And in doing so, he's now the ball defender. The screen from Boban Marjanovic comes, but Paul George does a smart thing here. He goes under the screen. This is this is good. And because of that, it allows him to get back into the play and keep Montrezl Harrell between the ball handler and the rim. The ball comes back to Luka Doncic. Now, here's the matchup everyone wants to see. Doncic and Leonard, one-on-one. -on -one. However, it's never one-on-one -on -one in this game. Leonard recognizes the screen, so he jumps to the other side to force Doncic away from it. When Doncic goes left, Kawhi act actually expertly navigates underneath this screen cuts back right in front of Doncic because of Harrell's show, and this forces Doncic when he steps back. Kawhi Leonard has his hand up. Doncic can't get the pass off, and as we see here, Montrose Harrell does a great job of fronting Boban to deny that pass, and it's a turnover. It's a great 24 seconds. This is a matchup the Clippers struggled with all series. Not, not exactly Landry Shamit on Luka Doncic, but the smaller Clipper guards matched up against Doncic, especially when he starts to post and turn. And as he does here, look how Leonard's on Boban tagging the roll man. Now Doncic wants to pass to the corner, but he knows he has to loop it over Leonard, which takes time, and that allows Leonard to get back into position to contest the shot and force another miss. The upside of this camera angle is exactly what we can see here. Leonard goes under the screen, which surprises Doncic, and because of that, he's able to reach in and tap the ball loose, and the Clippers get yet another steal out of this. Just knowing where to be defensively and having active hands can make all the difference in the world here. Leonard kind of stops this little transition by Seth Curry and gets his hands low. He's denying any bounce pass to the roller, and he gets his hands up high and deflects this ball and gets a steal and another stop. This is my favorite defensive possession because it shows the power of Kawhi Leonard and the greatness of everyone else. Paul George ices the screen, forces Doncic right. Tim Hardaway Jr. screens Avica Zubac, so Landry Shamrock properly jumps out to meet and deny Doncic a free path to the lane. Leonard is such a just tenacious off-ball and, and passing lane defender that he stunts and Doncic can't pass to Kleba. So they reset outside, sham it on Doncic, but we're going to focus on Kawhi here for a little bit because of one key thing his impact off the ball. As Doncic goes right, Shamit denies him getting middle and pushes him towards Kawhi, but look, the threat of Kawhi forces Doncic to gather and go up with a tougher shot. This is excellent. 